hi guys welcome back to my channel so today we're here and i have this new palette that i want to go ahead and play with um it's called life of the fiesta by cara beauty i actually haven't really used any of this stuff on my channel but i like i saw this palette and it was look at this only $6.99 at Marshall. So I was like, okay, let's go ahead and give it a go. So if you want to see what look I come up with, then keep on watching. Okay, let's go ahead and prime the lead. I already have my guards because I don't know how this palette is going to work. And using the guards are always going to make it like real easy to just you know come up with a quick look so i'm actually gonna go back to my pillow with base because jesus christ like i used this base from visart and it was not the business so we're just gonna go ahead and use my pillow with base which i know is the business because i i need you know a good base for this shadow because i don't know how they're gonna work and i'm just using my um t-i-g-f brush and this is just a blending brush okay this brush is like not doing what i want it to do i literally just had the base in my hand where did i put it let's use this one this is a it's just a strong brush but it's a it's a blending brush it's like nothing fancy okay so the 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 blush that's all folks the palette actually it's a it's a nice palette whether the shades are gonna work or not we are gonna see but the the palette itself is, is very pretty so the mirror in here yep so there's a nice size mirror and the shades look like so it's just it's, it's pretty just not sure how this is gonna work so i'm gonna just go in don't waste any time and i'm gonna go in with a 5 m518 from morphe and i'm thinking i'm gonna go into this shade right here this shade called popping yes and i'm just gonna put this like right here in my order v kind of so this is actually very pigmented oh look at you cara beauty Kind of creasing a little bit so i'm just you know dabbing it out man these shadows are really good i paid seven dollars for this i'm impressed like i'm so impressed i mean i have palettes that i pay like 40 50 dollars for that doesn't work like this so and i have like very minimal fallout if you can see like nothing i have a little bit of fallout here but and nothing like crazy either i'm gonna put on this brush and i'm thinking i'm gonna go into i'm gonna go into this shade right here oh actually i'm gonna mix these two shades i'm gonna mix go around and easy going just gonna blend those two shades together perfect i have another m518 are we gonna blend these So I'm actually just putting like more of this shade right here, which is easy going instead of the go around because I feel like go around will be too dark. Like this is so pretty. I actually got another palette from them too. I got another one. I might do another look with it, but I've been doing a lot of like blue looks and it's like a kind of blue shadow. So maybe later. I like bringing my shadows all the way to my brow. Some people don't like it. I do. For shadows, you just kind of do what works for you. So it just blends this like so well. Love it. So it's a little bit dusty, but man, like the shadows work so good, like it's fine. See how this like side blends very well. So this side is a little bit harder to blend, so. I don't know why it shouldn't be because it's like the same shadow and the same base but it's fine you know 
we'll make it work right okay let's go back to here because i did lose some of that bluish greenish shade now i'm thinking i'm gonna go into this shade right here called go deep i'm being dirty like let's ignore that This is a T36 and we're gonna go into go deep and I'm gonna use that to just darken my auto V just a little bit. Check right here. It's right here. Just to get a little bit of darkness. And I'm gonna go back into this brush and just Okay, now let's go to this blush and I'm gonna go into this, my handy dandy glitter glue from NYX. Let's go into this shade right here called Cinco de Mayo, I think. Ooh, so this is like more of a, a topper. Like, cool. So this is a what a T48 from Makeup Shop. Ooh, this is pretty. Same thing. Get a little glitter glue and go to the top. So this is very glitter-y. What that means is like it's not a shimmer, it's like straight up glitter, it's like chunks. So you're gonna want to put on a base because i'm gonna go into this shade right here this shade called kicking fiesta and i'm gonna use that to just kind of blend the shimmer and this together so we gotta find a brush i'm actually gonna use this brush this is an l18 from laura lee los angeles makeup line this is working great Just make sure everything is nice and seamless. Okay, see so I have glitter like literally everywhere. Everybody there, glitter, glitter, glitter. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Rare Beauty Eyeliner. I'm done. Because I'm gonna keep messing with this and I'm gonna mess it up. So let's move to this pharmacy moisturizer and let's moisturize the face look my face is like so dry so dry let's use this extra matte maybe i shouldn't go with an extra matte but this actually says it's extra matte but it really isn't it's like a moisturizing matte if that makes any sense like i feel like if you have a Super dry skin, you can still use this. See, and they still have a glow. Still has a glow. That's a lot of glitter. Okay, now let's move to. I'm just gonna use this pond right here, and I'm just gonna put a little bit of Pintly right here. Now, let's see what foundation we're gonna put on today. I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Born this way matte foundation let's put this on an artist oval number seven brush this brush is so good like it's it just kind of put your foundation on like flawlessly look at this you know what i feel like this foundation i don't necessarily feel like it's like full full coverage i would maybe say it's like a medium and then it's build up See, because I have like scars right here and you can still see my scars. I don't know, this foundation looks quite white. But, it's no biggie, we'll fix it, we will make it, we will make it right. I'm going to put a little bit of my Jeffree Star Orange Concealer. Every time I use this concealer, I have to put some on my hand. And I'm going to use my... G17 from Morphe to just blend this off. 
and it's gonna go here no for concealer I gotta use something light because that foundation is quite light and I'm gonna use my Jeffree Star concealer in C1 4.5 so 14.5 not sure why I say it like that okay that was a lot I'm gonna go in I'm gonna bronze I'm gonna use my black opal carob bronzer or contour oh this is dark can't find the cover and I'm gonna use this brush right here from Morphe. This is an E44. This blends so well. This is actually a foundation stick. I just like using it for this. So I think I put a lot more on this side versus the other side, but it's fine. We'll make it work. You know, my famous lines apparently. <laughs> and I'm gonna use a C an M335 from Morphe and just blend this out. So now I'm gonna go into my powder and I'm gonna use I don't know why I still have this on this my 206 from Real Techniques I'm just gonna use this brush and then just kind of do this make sure there's no creasing or minimal creasing and then just kind of swipe it like this no let's set my face cuz the other day and I, I really didn't set my face and I'm gonna use my half finished Charlotte Tilbury powder on my 734. Now let's move to mascara. I'm gonna use my roller liner or my roller lash from Benefit. Let's use let's use this right here. These are called hashtag plastic from Body B Lashes. So we'll go ahead and use those. Man, so they look like so. These are actually very pretty. I'm trying to be careful so I don't root this. Cause I will be sad if I do. I actually was like trying to take off some glue on up here the other night and I just root it off. Like it is what it is. I'm rough. I know that. You know, I have a niece. Well, I have multiple nieces, but I have a little, little one. She's, you know, some months old. And she is rough. Maybe that's where she get this from. I don't know. She is not a gentle baby. She's like, just wild. She's so cute, though. So cute. I need to pay attention to these, because I'll be all deep in my shadows, and I just forget. I wish I could just be, you know, just jamming my own music, but YouTube is coming for people. So this is the E28 from Carity, and I'm just going to go in with my base, and we're just going to put a little bit. There will be a nice little, you know, blend sesh going on. Okay, so let's see. I'm probably going to do like different shades, maybe. Yeah, why not? You know, let's just play with more colors. I'm gonna go into this shade right here called Love Fire. And I'm putting this on a number 14 smudge brush from Sephora. Okay, I need an M506. Let's clean this one up. And then I'm gonna use this two shades right here. I'm gonna use Orange Marmalade and Go Mama to blend this red out. It's fine, even if it looks a little bit messy, I'll, I'll clean it up. I'm gonna give it a little bit more of this shade right here. So I'm gonna go into my the same M506 that I used to blend this, and I'm gonna put a little bit of my powder, like so, just a little bit. And I'm gonna try to like, kinda just clean this up a little bit, cause I feel like this is, this went down a little bit more than I wanted it. 
gonna work is this is my powder brush I'm just gonna go in like so we're gonna make something cute I'm gonna put some NYX with the brush and I'm gonna put that here and I'm gonna go into fi kicking fiesta which was that green and then we're gonna go back to the glue just a little bit and then I'm gonna go into Cinco de Mayo which is a glitter let's put a little bit like so and that is it guys for this palette man I like how this look came out so let's put this away now let's go ahead and bronze I've been really liking this bronzer and I'm gonna use a pro BH cosmetic brush this one is award number two Again, this is not a bronzer. This is from Kat Von D. It's their powder foundation. But I like it. I like to use it for a bronzer. I love the shade. I feel like I've been going real heavy with my bronzer lately. Man, I'm so excited. So I got my palettes on in. And I, I did my first workout on there today. And I was like, oh, dead. When I was done. But... I haven't really been working out so I definitely have to get used to it again this is so pretty oh I think I put too much see I be going crazy but it's all good in the hood because we're gonna fix this nice and quick put it on my real technique sponge like so and then we're just gonna go in And let's go ahead I'm gonna use this to blush I'm gonna actually use this shade just two shades over here do they have shade names three and four this is actually pretty my only issue there's glitter in there so if you don't like glitter you most likely won't like this one but it's fine I'm gonna go ahead and use Topaz from Jouer Cosmetics and this is blinding look at this what pencil am I gonna put in my waterline actually let me go ahead and I'm gonna use this from Ulta this is aqua Oop, this lash is not the business so that's these lashes are gonna have issues I can already tell because of the glitter that's in that shadow okay let's go ahead and lips am i gonna put in this bright ass eye let's put a nude lip i'm gonna actually use this this is from this is hush hush from buxom and it's a pump line lip liner in fact this is already cute i'm just gonna go ahead and put a gloss on top of there and I'm gonna put this gloss. This is called Jazzy from Dose of Cause. We're almost done. We're almost there. Now let me clean that powder. Now let's do something to that here. <laughs> this is like you know i'm going out of space or something i don't know counselor troy are you getting any telepathic impressions from that spatial anomaly i'm sensing someone tying me down to a bed nope don't like to see this i'm just using my bronzer brush and i'm just bronzing you know yeah like so okay let me stop playing with this here so that's it guys for this video i had fun like you know if you have a tj maxx or marshall's in your area you should definitely give these shadows a shot because i feel like they were really really good and for seven dollars seven dollars so that's it guys for this video don't forget to like subscribe join the family and i will see you in my next video bye guys